Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandon and thank you for joining me and tuning in for another video today. As you can see by the setup here today, I'm gonna to be doing my first envelope cash stuffing system. This is January and this is my second paycheck within the month and I decided that I'm gonna take control of my finances and really get together this cash envelope stuffing system and I'm gonna use this to better budget my finances. This method that I'm doing is one that I kinda of created myself. It's called the KISS method, which is keep it simple, snoop it. So I'm going to keep this very simple. I'm not gonna go into a lot of details, but it's gonna be very simple and it's very self-explanatory. So I'm going to explain to you exactly what it is that I'm doing in my cash stuffing system here. So basically I have some envelopes that I ordered from Amazon and I will leave the link in the description below. And what I did was I wrote out the categories which I wanna control the most. For example, I have clothes, lunch, groceries, gas, personal items, eating out, alcohol, of course, <laughs> and miscellaneous. And I just received my envelopes today in the mail. And this is the box that they came in. All right, so this is the box. And like I said earlier, I will leave a link to these envelopes in the description below. So you guys can get your very own envelopes to do the cash stuffing system. So what I did was I came up with the categories that I wanted to better manage, meaning I did a review and an analysis of my, basically my debit card statement, and I saw which categories I spent the most in and which I wanted to control the most. So these are the categories that I came up with. So again, this is my second paycheck for the month of January, and I actually got paid Friday and today is Tuesday. So I actually already kind of started spending some that paycheck so this is going to be the baseline and this is about a hundred dollars and I'm going to stuff my envelopes where I see fit so this is the baseline this is my first time doing it so I'm going to adjust these as time goes on to see where I spend more money at but today is just going to be the baseline this is just what I think I need to put the money all right so I'm just going to break it out here so I can see exactly how much cash I have and like I said before, I think this is about, this is this is $100 broken out. So what I need to do is determine how I should break this money up into my different categories. Now keep in mind, like I said, today is Tuesday and I got paid on Friday and I'm just starting this system today. So I can already tell some of these categories I will not be stuffing today just because I know between now and my next paycheck, I'm probably not gonna spend any money on those items. So I'm going to, again, use this as my baseline, and if I need to add more or adjust this later, then I will do that. So for eating out. Eating out is a big category that I need to better manage. So I'm going to allot $20 to eat out. And keep in mind, this, is, this needs to hold me over until my next paycheck which will be roughly about a week and a half away. So I gotta survive off of $100 into my next paycheck. I think I can do it. I'm pretty confident I can do this. And again, this is the baseline. So if I feel like I need more money in certain categories, then I will adjust it as needed. But I'm starting out right now with $100. So gas, I know I don't really have far to go between now and my next paycheck. So I'm going to put $5 in that. Now close, clothing. I don't have anything coming up within the next week and a half, so I'm not gonna be purchasing any clothes with this money. I hope to have some money left over between now and my next paycheck. And if I do have any left over, then I will build a clothing budget. But for right now, I'm going to leave that one empty. All right, groceries. So I meal prep enough food for the remainder of this week, so I need to think about how much money I need to put aside for next week and I think I can get away with $25. Yeah. And 
And I probably should have thought this out a little bit more between filming this video, but like I said, this is the KISS method and I'm keeping it very simple. I have my baseline amount of money, which is $100, and I'm just going to decide and determine where I need to allocate those expenses to get me through the next week and a half. All right, so miscellaneous, I'm going to leave this one empty for now and whatever I have left over between now and my next paycheck, I will add to the miscellaneous category. Now, as far as personal items goes, personal items to me could be toothpaste, a toothbrush, body wash, hair gel, anything for the body, any type of personal item. So I'm going to put... I'm going to put in about $5 right now because I'm good on all my personal items and I'm pretty sure I can manage from now until next paycheck with $5. All right, and we only have two envelopes left and I have a little bit more money to go around. So I'm going to add more money to other categories. So lunch. Bringing my lunch is one of the most expensive categories in my opinion that I kind of want to control the most. Like I said in some previous videos, I've been meal prepping more this year, so I've been doing pretty good with this, but I'm going to allocate some money for those days where I want more lunch or I don't <laughs> want what I meal prepped. So I'm going to put $10. Actually, I'm going to put $15 because this has to last me till next week. I'm going to put $15 into the lunch envelope. All right, so that's $15 in lunch. So I have $20 left. And some of the categories that I still need to stuff will be my clothes, miscellaneous, and alcohol. All right, so I think I want to do some rearranging here. <laughs> All right, so for gas, yeah, $5 for gas should be good because this has to get me where I need to go just for next week. My groceries budget, it's about $25. $25 should be enough. I have a very bad habit of waking up on a Saturday or Sunday morning and wanting to run Toledo or Kroger and get bacon and eggs for breakfast and mimosas. So that's gonna come out of grocery budget. And it's only one more weekend left to go between now and my next paycheck, so $25. I'm gonna have to make that work. Gas is good. Eating out, $20. So I'm going to do some adjusting here. I have my alcohol, which is important. Miscellaneous and clothes, like I said, I can set those aside. And this is the great benefit about using cash. You really have to think about what you want to spend your money on because once it's gone, it's gone. That's the great thing about using a cash envelope stuffing system. Like this is it. Once you allocate certain expenses and this is the set amount of money, you really gotta think about your purchases. And I think this is why so many people are successful and prefer this method over using your debit card or credit card because once the cash is gone, that's it. So it really holds you accountable and you really have to be very strategic with your purchases. So, <laughs> so with $20 left, I'm just going to put this in the alcohol category, which I know is more than enough. And when I think of alcohol, I also think of drinks at the bar, happy hour, and just the fun thing. So it should actually read alcohol slash entertainment, which is another category that I really need to get under control. So I'm gonna allow myself $20 until next paycheck. All right, so I think I am good to go. So for my first envelope stuffing system, these are the categories where I allocated this $100. Again, this only has to last me about another week and a half and that might not sound like a lot of money but keep in mind these are only the categories in the kiss method or the kiss system that i'm using which is keeping it simple fixed expenses like my rent insurance payments cell phone bills electric bill those are going to come out of my checking account using auto pay so I'm not going to worry about budgeting those. I'm just gonna make sure that I have enough money set aside for those fixed expenses. But things like eating out, gas, alcohol, groceries, personal items, lunch, clothing, and miscellaneous purchases, 
I feel like I need to control those more, so I'm going to just be using cash for those. So again, the fixed expenses will just continue to come out of my account. So I don't have to account for rent and any utility bills. It's just things that I personally feel like I spend too much money on and I wanna get a better control over. So this $100 I feel like should be more than enough to get me through eating out gas, alcohol, groceries, and any personal items or lunch that I may need from now to my next paycheck. Again, this is my second paycheck in the month of January, and I'm just gonna be going off of these. I will give you guys another envelope stuffing or cash stuffing update. Once I get paid again, I'll go over how much I have left in each envelope, and then I will re-up the envelopes and restuff them with money from my next paycheck. So I think I'm good with this, and just to recap, I have $20 allocated to eat and out over the next week week and a half i have about five dollars in gas and i know that might not sound like a lot but you guys i just put gas in my car like i said i'm about a couple days into my paycheck before posting this video so that should be more than enough money to get me where i need to go over the next week and if that's not enough then i will have to come into my alcohol budget or entertainment budget but I think I should be good with five dollars and in terms of groceries I just live in a two-person household so $25 should be more than enough to get us over the next week and a half like I said I already meal prep for this week and this is just my baseline to get me started so I'm trying to see if this is going to be enough or not and if it's not then I will take money from another envelope if needed but I'm pretty sure this can get me through the next week and a half like i said i already did my grocery shopping because my envelopes just came in the mail and i wanted to get this started i didn't want to wait until my next paycheck to break everything out so this should be more than enough to get me through the next week and a half as far as personal items i allocated five dollars like i said i'm good on all my toiletries and my products to get me through the next week and a half so it's no need to put a lot of money into this. And my lunch, which is a big one, which I really need to get a control over. So I'm really gonna stick with this. I have $15. So this is how I plan to spend this $100 using the cash envelope stuffing system via the KISS method, which is keeping it very simple. I'm not gonna write a detailed budget for this system. I'm just using, using this just for expenses that I want to control better and just pay cash only with. Again, my fixed expenses such as rent and any type of utilities will come out of my checking account using auto pay. So yeah, you guys, this is how I decided to break up the $100 using my new envelopes that just came in the mail. Um, that I got from Amazon and I will leave a link in the description box below. Be sure to check it out. And I think this is gonna be it. Now I will give you guys an update in the next video. And as always guys, thank you for supporting my channel. And please make sure that I follow this system and I will give you guys a quick update in about a week, a week and a half when I get my next paycheck. Thanks guys, bye.